Pennywise frontman Zoli Teglas teamed with the conservation group Sea Shepherd to close the restaurant The Hump, helping to facilitate an arrest leading to its closure. Teglas helped organize a protest on March 12, 2010 to educate patrons in Santa Monica, California that endangered whale species were being illegally served and consumed at The Hump restaurant. Sea Shepherd, the subject of Animal Planet's hit show Whale Wars, inspired the team behind the Oscar-winning documentary film The Cove to shed light on the wrongdoings. Teglas, who was also a volunteer music and outreach coordinator for Sea Shepherd, obtained police approval and organized a peaceful protest during the lunchtime rush hour to encourage L.A. area sushi lovers to help put an end to restaurants in the U.S. and Japan selling endangered whale species. In fact, the protest led federal prosecutors to file criminal charges against the owner of the hump and one of its chefs, alleging they had sold meat from an endangered whale. Artisan News caught up with Zoli Teglas of Pennywise to get his thoughts on undergoing a sting operation and recruiting producer Charles Hambleton from the Academy Award-winning film The Cove to help organize the covert purchase of a plate of say whale for $600. make a long story short, I uh, brought this, uh, uh, this up to Paul Watts from the Sea Shepherd Conservation Society. He hooked me up with some people who in turn hooked me up with the guys from The Cove. Uh, Charles Hamilton and those and those people and we did an undercover investigation and we came in here and did an undercover sting you know cameras in our in our in our hats and everything it was pretty cool and they actually served us whale put it we put it in a baggie sent it off to the lab comes back a say whale which is a san which is a third largest whale species it's super endangered right so then we get the federal government involved we do three more stings each time say whale so uh, finally after the cove uh, premiere came out and they won the academy award what, two days later, they got busted. Zoli also talked about the hump being known for cruelty to animals. This place is known for really, really beating up animals. I mean, there's a, there's a, a sign on the door that says if you uh, are, are un uncomfortable with seeing animals, uh, live animals dissected for sushi, please don't sit at the sushi bar. You know, they, 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 they do everything. They, one thing they're known for is, is having their sushi move while you eat it. And I don't understand why the patrons think that's cool and funny, you know, to, they, they, they have these beautiful, like, crawfish or something from Malaysia, and they cut them in half, and they stand them on end, and the animal's, like, you know, freaking out, and they quickly fillet the tail, and they serve it to you, so the animal's watching you eat its tail, like, that's funny, that's cool. He talked about continuing to prevent Japanese restaurants from serving whale meat in the future. To make a long story short, you know, if you're going to, you're going to think the, uh, this is the second time they got busted for whale meat, second time. So if, if from now on we're going to put the word out, if, if you're going to think you're going to serve whale meat, who's going to tell us now is going to be your, your employees, our friends who are eating there, people undercover. Every place, every high-end Japanese restaurant is going to have somebody sitting there keeping an eye on what's being served. The Hump immediately said through their attorney Gary Linsenberg that it accepted responsibility for the wrongdoing charged by the U.S. attorney and it would pay a fine and resolve the matter in court. The illegal sale of a marine mammal product is a misdemeanor that carries a maximum penalty of one year in prison and a maximum fine of $100,000 for an individual and $200,000 for an organization, according to the U.S. Attorney's Office. After many years of touring with his band Ignite, Zoli was officially announced as a replacement for lead vocalist Jim Lindbergh of Pennywise. After a few warm-up shows in California in March of 2010, Pennywise will hit the road touring with their new vocalist beginning April 24th in Belgium, with dates extending until May 16th in London.